guys, it's Nadia from the Idea Designs and I'm back with another tutorial. Today I'm making a water lotus candle tray and the first thing I'm doing is I'm using some iridescent film or some basket wrap. I think it's also a lot of people will be familiar with them as that and I'm going to be adding it to the silicone mold here to the bottom of the tray and I didn't put any resin or any kind of adhesive. It's basically just kind of clinging to the silicone so and I added some wrinkles in there just to add some texture and now I'm going through and taking my exacto blade and cutting off the excess and I want to get this as close to the same shape as the mold as possible but I definitely don't want to cut the mold so I'm trying to be really careful here to just kind of remove the excess and then once we're done that we will go ahead and add resin to the top of this. So I have my resin here um, and I'm using these new pigment dyes and it's similar to acrylic paint but it's just more intense or pigmented so I just want to try it out and what I've done is I've added that to my resin I have not I didn't add a lot because I still want to have that translucent kind of water feel to it so I just add just a touch just to kind of give it a bit of a tint and then um, I've Again, I filled the mold here about halfway, so it's not full, it's about halfway, which is about six or seven ounces, I can't remember exactly, but I just filled it about halfway and I'll go through and I'm going to get rid of those bubbles and then we'll move on to the next step. So now I want to add these abalone shells and these are of course the beautiful rainbowy shells um, that I, you've seen me use before. And I want to add them to the corners of these trays where I just want to add, have that pond kind of feel where, you know, it's water, it's very calming and you have some you know, little pebbles in the water. So I want to have that kind of a look for this tray. So I'm going to go ahead and place those in, um, in a time lapse and then I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so now that we have our shells in place, I have another about six ounces that I'm going to be adding to this tray. And again, I did tint it with the same blue, green kind of colors. And I'm just going to add those on top to kind of uh, cover over those abalone shells and also fill the, the tray. So, and then once that's done, we'll uh, again heat the bubbles out and then leave it to set overnight so that we can unmold it in the morning. So while our tray is curing, I went ahead and I also poured these three candle holders. These molds are from Shop Resin Molds and they are lotus shaped candle holders. So they're perfect for this little project that I'm working on. The two on the sides are smaller and the one in the middle is larger. And um, again, the uh, as usual, you guys can find the links to the brands and the companies that I use in the description below the video. And I include uh, discount codes if I have them. So make sure you check there if you wanted to know um, what the products are that I'm using or at least what the brand so you can go check out their website. So as you can see here, the two side candle holders are a very pretty shimmery white 
and then the center one is more of a pale pink so you'll see that once I get that other mold So I chose these colors because I really wanted this whole piece to kind of have an ethereal look to go with the calming water. So as we unmold the tray here, you can see that, again, as you remember, we just tinted the resin ever so slightly blue because I really wanted the iridescent film and that kind of rainbow effect to show through. So, and I want it to look like clear water. So um, I think that worked, worked out actually really well. And as I saw, what I was seeing here is to just place these candle holders on top and it would make a really pretty centerpiece or just on a little table. So let me know in the comments what you guys think of this tray. Do you like this watery effect with the iridescent paper? Do you like the abalone shells? And what about these candle holders? I'd love to know what you guys think of this piece. And uh, thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!